So we're going to start out task two using the same worldview QGIS map file that we ended task one with. Here we're going to examine a map projection more suitable for mapping the entire world, the Eckert 4 projection. The Eckert 4 map projection is an equal area pseudo cylindrical map projection with straight parallel latitude lines and equally spaced meridians. So we're in Mercator now as we left task one. So I'm going to go to the project menu project properties, again to the CRS tab. And here I'm going to use the filter search box again, but instead of typing in an EPSG code, I'm going to use the name of the projection, Eckert. So this filters through and finds the Eckert projections. I'm going to locate Eckert 4 and specifically use the world Eckert 4. I'll click OK. One note, there are some occasional rendering issues with this projection in QGIS. If you get a blocky appearance of the circles of the land, to fix that, just zoom in and zoom back to the previous extent. So for example, I can zoom in, zoom to the previous extent. Actually, that right there is what I was talking about, that blocky extent. I'm just going to hit the previous extent, and it looks fine again. So if that happens, just zoom in and zoom out, and you should be able to get the map to look correct. The Eckert 4 projection is useful for world maps as it's equal area and is pleasing to the eye. A lot of projections are chosen just because that's the way people are used to seeing those parts of the world, those geographies. So let's see how the distance property fares with this projection. I'm going to use the measure tool again, measure line, and I'm going to use this and measure this distance between Atlanta and Alice Springs again. So again, I left click right click on Alice Springs to end and I get about just short of 21,000 kilometers. So we can see the Eckert 4 projection is not equidistant and shouldn't be used for distance measurements. In task 3 we're going to explore national map projections.